Intense heat in very remote areas of the desert can leave people in dire situations. But Customs and Border Protection Air and Marine Operations is able to airlift many of them to safety. KGON 9's Ryan Fish gives us an up close and a view at their eye in the sky. I'm here in the rocky, rugged terrain of Reddington Pass because this is one of the locations where CBP trains for hoist rescues from a Black Hawk helicopter. In the blazing heat, a team of five agents drops from this HH-60 Blackhawk to tend to a victim. It's exhilarating. Um, it's stressful. You see it on the news, you see it on TV, and it looks easy. It's, it's definitely not. It's hundreds of hours of training that we've put in. Scott Bowles is an aviation enforcement agent and EMT. He says even with all that training, real life rescues are unpredictable. We've had hoists into fires before. We've had hoists into blizzard conditions up in the mountains. You have winds. You have terrain like you're seeing out there right now. You have medical conditions of possible patients. Right now the basket is coming down in order to rescue our person in distress here. Those people are often migrants struggling through the southern Arizona desert. This hoist cable is about 300 feet long and can carry close to 600 pounds. There's a lot of uh, signs behind it, how fast the cable goes down how close to the terrain as you can see behind us. CBP says air rescues like this are happening more often this year. You know, there's better detection uh, technology out there, so we're seeing a lot more. And also, uh, we have record heat this year, so there's a, a lot of 911 calls that we respond to. That's why these agents do this training weekly, to stay as sharp as possible. That's where we grow from our basic foundation to mastering our skills as training days like this, what we're seeing out here today. At Reddington Pass, Ryan Fish, Kegan Nut. Well, that's impressive stuff. It really is. I've been really fortunate. My stepdad flew the Black Hawk for yeah, 20 years. That. Yeah, we've been fortunate enough to tour it, go to the bases in Schofield and in Hawaii mm -hmm. and all the other places wow. as well.